Last week we were in Sharjah and today God brought us back here. Amen. All glory to God. All glory to God. See, there's a psalm which I was meditating this morning. I just want to you know meditate with you as well to go through that psalms. And the most beautiful part is when I was meditating this and a time came this verse 1 or 2 or 3 it reached 3 suddenly show took me to a verse which we meditated last night in our karama cell and that was a blessing to many who came that uh, last evening and made god do the rest today yeah god did mighty things yesterday you know and today i believe he has wonderful plan for us as well praise the lord so can we all just stand up just for this verse it says let's read psalms 100 Let's reach verse 1, 2 and 3 together. Shout. Shout for joy to Yahweh all you lands. Serve Yahweh with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Verse 3. Know that Yahweh he is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. you may sit down thank you yahweh is the most powerful name even i'm shaking when i'm saying this the most powerful name in the bible and one day as the bible says every knee will bow every tongue will confess that he is god praise the lord we are his covenant people his chosen people his special possession the bible says verse 3 says he is our god he is our shepherd verse 3 says he is our shepherd hallelujah samus david in another psalm he says he leaves his flock of 99 sheep in order to find the one which he is lost that faithful he is in the psalm david encourages his audience this way that he says yahweh is god in hebrew it says yahweh is elohim hallelujah the name yahweh is used only to show about god's personal relationship with his people this evening can we shout out and say yahweh 1 2 3 yahweh hallelujah hallelujah and this is the same name given to moses by god himself in exodus chapter 3 verse 14 he said i am who i am today this personal god This intensely personal God I would say is seeking to have a relationship with you and I. Today he is going to move few hearts he says. Move from its present condition. He will move it further. He will do it so that you will have a living bond. You were dead at some point in time. He said I will bring it to life. is this god who said i am yahweh he, i am in your midst so be here with great expectation i would say to you of god so verse 4 says you don't need to get up just read it out with me enter into his gates with thanksgiving enter into his courts with praise you yeah, are the royal priesthood enter his courts with praise Give thanks unto him. Are you here with this attitude? And he says, "Bless his name." David knew it all. Come on, hands together. Can we bless his name? Hands together. Give him a clap of friendship. <laughs> this awesome sovereign, majestic God, he is in our midst. He is in our midst. So keeps smiling be in attitude of prayer keeps smiling hallelujah 
this intensely personal god is seeking to have a relationship with you and i that's very clearly said to me while i was preparing this portion he as i said before he connected me to what we meditated last night and that is from colossians chapter 2 verse 6 hallelujah colossians chapter 2 verse 6 so then just as you receive jesus just as you receive christ jesus as lord continue to live your life in him when some version says walk in him some version says live in him but what i like is the good news bible you may not have it i will say it since you have accepted jesus christ or since you have accepted christ jesus as lord live in union with him hallelujah what a powerful word live in union with him i love this version this intensely personal god whom you found in psalms 100 it is he who wants to have that personal relationship with you hallelujah so he wanted to you to be deep rooted firmly built up in christ and also be strengthened strengthened in faith so he is appealing to us this evening live in union with christ union means i know you all know that but let me say it union means uniting together to make one marriage is a kind of union how much you know about that that much you need to know about this as well this union hallelujah union means uniting to make one hallelujah ephesians 2 chap verse number 4 and 5 we need to read i will not read the whole thing but i just give you the glimpse a little verses here and there it says because of his great love for us god who is rich in mercy made us alive he has done the job for us he made us alive with christ even when we were dead 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 in transgressions it is by his awesome grace we have been saved hallelujah 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 it is god who established this union that you you and i are enjoying in christ it is god who established this for you that is when you became born again say it with say it with me born again Hallelujah John chapter 3 I'm not going in there it is the creative power of God children of God who raised Jesus from the dead it is the same creative power of God that brought us into Christ that we are enjoying this union it is by God's creative power that we were brought into union with Christ hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus come on Come on. Aren't you excited? I am. I am excited. Would you stand up on your feet? Thank you Jesus. God has done it all for us. <laughs> Thank you. Why he chose us? Why? We were in that mighty clay wretched sinners. Not worthy. Why? Why did he choose us? There were many who were outside. They will come one day. But why before them? What did we do? Any great works of ours? Nothing, children of God. Nothing. But his word clearly says, his commandment is that unless you are born again, born from above, born by the Holy Spirit, you cannot live in union with god oh hallelujah the holy spirit does not work in someone's life just because just because they receive jesus as their personal savior no you have to be born again it is supernatural it is nothing of man it is very dynamic nobody will understand children of god unless you are in union with Christ hallelujah jesus foretold this to his disciples how many of them understood i have no clue we will ask them one day 
Yes in John chapter 14 verse 19 and 20 he told them there will come a time disciples will receive a revelation about their union with him he told them children of god he told them in the very next chapter he illustrated beautifully through a uh, through a metaphor which is wine and the branches it is about this union he spoke about yes yes but to his apostles paul peter john and all others he revealed it in depth and that is why they could write everything in this epistles hallelujah now children of god receive this revelation if you have not received it before receive it this evening receive it have that union with christ live in union he says all eyes closed please all eyes closed thank you jesus because we are connected to him listen to me because we are connected to him like wine and the branches which is alive yes he says what is in him is in us what the wine carries is the same thing that flows through the branches we are fruit bearing part of wine but there were other branches also or not even though it looks connected but they are not connected that is the difference i just spoke to before we manifest christ life hallelujah we manifest christ life here on earth Thank you Jesus. Now, I just softly say something to you. If you are not manifesting Christ's life here on earth, seriously I doubt whether you are born again by born again of the spirit or not. Seriously, you may be knowing Christ. You may be knowing Jesus. You know maybe knowing all the verses from the Bible. You may be knowing everything. But are you seriously born again? Ask yourself ask yourself hallelujah i just want to pray for you this evening father father in the name of jesus whatever we ask father you have promise that you will give us a path we are connected to you a path and that is the grace that we have father to come boldly before you and say up our father Yes, nothing else we have, Papa. Stir up a hunger within our heart this evening. We want more of you, more of your love, more of your power, more of your faith. We don't want to sing more love, more power, more faith, more hunger, more this, more that. No, we want to experience it, Papa. This intensely personal God whom we found in Psalms 100 and in Colossians 2 and in Ephesians his spirit will come upon you right now Receive it Receive it in Jesus name Don't look left or right don't look up or down it is from above it comes Nobody will know nobody will see but you will experience child of God receive it in Jesus name an awesome awesome experience you're enjoying within your life within your body within your within your whole self that is the touch of God that is the very touch of God he loves you don't let this evening go by hunger and thirst for him hunger and thirst for more of him to come upon your life Holy Spirit sweet holy spirit stir up our heart may your way be through signs wonders and miracles thank you papa thank you holy spirit you are living you reign you love, you love us unconditionally from the beginning from the bible till the end we see the same god who loved mankind oh that's the only fault he did. He loved us. His love is still calling you. Come child of God. Come into my arms. He will do anything for you. Just be in union with him. Thank you Father God for this evening. 
Thank you for all those who have received this word today. I know, I know those who have come here, they have received it. But there is a point in time, there will be a testimony that will rise up from this place. Until then, Father, we leave everything at your foot, footstool, Father God. May your glory shine in this place. As your man of God is going to come and share the word of God, let us be attentive to him. Let us not, let us not go one word onto the ground, but receive it in our heart. Not one word into the thin air, but everything into our heart. May children who have come here want to lift up his, their voice to sing unto you, Father. They are going to enter the gates with thanksgiving. And they are going to go into your courts with praises in their heart. No weapon formed against them will prosper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you listening to me? There will be great revelation that will come upon them when they sing into this song. All these songs that they have prepared, carefully prepared and practiced. How many hours they are spending in your presence, Appa. You will reward it all in your appointed time. Nothing will go wasted, child of God. Everyone who prepares and serves God diligently, not waiting for pastor or anybody to come and ask you, but doing it on your own, on your own, every week, with the joy in your heart, reward is coming soon. Even in this earth, I believe you will reap the reward. You don't have to wait longer, children of God. You will reap your reward. Thank you, this is 2020. He said, he said, you did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you. It is a year of growth. Get ready, children of God. Surrendering everything into your hands. Give him a round of clap offering, children of God. He deserves all the glory.